What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we're going to be checking out a LiPo battery charger. Now as you guys know it's summertime here in New York and that means time to have some crazy bashing fun with my RCs and one of my friends recently got into the hobby and was looking for a pretty affordable LiPo charger and I think this might be the one for him. So yep, check it out guys. Link will be in the description below. Let's check out the charger. So I went ahead and opened it already so it'll just be easier for the video and okay. Now some of you might already have this charger, it's called the IMAX B680 watts. Well, 80 watts is the most it'll go. Now you can buy the charger without the power adapter for cheaper than what I paid for it. I believe this was just under 40 bucks, so in my opinion it was a steal. And I've had pretty good experiences with these um, affordable chargers. I once purchased the Chernergy charger on eBay a long time ago, and that's still working pretty good. All right, so, okay, there we go. Okay, so that's everything you get. Now, like I'm saying, you can just purchase this right here, which will just be the charger with um, all the adapters in there for your batteries, or you can purchase it with the power adapter, which might be a little bit extra, but I think under $40 is a pretty good deal. All right, so that's kind of how it looks. Um, there we go. Pretty cool looking charger and I like the fact that it's blue too so let's pop okay good so I like this already it's neatly packed so we have the actual charger right here and then we have all the various adapters um for your well sorry guys these are the connectors or some connectors and then we have this piece right here if you want to charge from like a battery maybe you're traveling you have your car um you can just plug this into the leads and charge it up Alrighty, so it looks like this have mostly, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have the Dean's connector. Now, I was really hoping it came with the universal one, which has a lot of connection to it. But at least it has the Dean's. And the car that my friend has is an Emacs with the Traxxas and on the batteries but we have a Dean's connector so those batteries should be able to charge on this which is pretty cool so all we basically are probably going to use are is or sorry are this lead right here the power and the charger so I'm gonna put all the rest away alrighty so let's take a look at the actual charger boom there we go nice blue looking charger you have the power right here we have all these fins to help disperse the heat when the battery's getting hot we have the two positive and negative connectors to plug in the battery connector leads and then we have all the balancers which is built in now the the charger that i personally have this is actually like like an adapter so this piece actually extends out and you could plug it in so i think i like this better though so yep okay so i'm gonna go grab some light poles and we're gonna test it out now, if you've never used a LiPo charger before, it is important that you read the manual that's included. Or, of course, you can always YouTube some video instructions. But LiPo batteries are pretty... They could be pretty dangerous. So just make sure you do it correctly and you charge your batteries correctly. And never, ever leave your batteries unattended while they're charging. Always keep an eye on it. And, you know, don't leave them alone. And also, you want to invest in a... A lipo bag so i'll also put the link to this lipo bag in the description below um i probably have about maybe six or eight lipos in here it's a pretty solid bag so yes that's all you need to know or some of the things you need to know about lipo batteries Alrighty, so i'm gonna go ahead and plug in the charger there we go and immediately you guys can see it comes on and we have the lipo charge the amp and the cells in the battery so here i have a 2s gens ace 5000 mAh um 7.2 volts for those who aren't sure the voltage on a 2s so let's go ahead and plug this in so i'm just going to move it to the side so you're going to plug in your leads kind of like that oh there we go these connector and right there just make sure you find the right 
balance connector for your two cell which looks to be the upper the upper right there we go so once that's in you're gonna go ahead and go to lipo balance you're gonna click once change the ampage you can always I usually go all the way up to 5 amps which was the maximum which is the maximum on the charger that I have but this one seems like it can go a lot higher but for now we're just gonna leave it at 5 amps you're gonna tap one more time and you're gonna change the voltage to 2s which is 7.4 volts which is for the battery that I'm about to charge and then you're gonna long press you're gonna wait for battery check it's gonna connect enter or, or you can also stop but we're gonna click enter and just like that it is charging boom look at that guys now if you hit the right or left arrow it'll show you the cells and the voltage in the cells so there we have two cells they are pretty healthy so that's good And there we go guys so the 2s works it charges now this battery needs to be charged but i'm going to unplug it and i'm going to show you guys the 3s and then i'll just continue charging this off camera all right so when you finish charging the charger will beep and letting you know that the battery is full you just go ahead and hit stop right here there we go it stops the charging and then you can go ahead and unplug your batteries so you can go ahead and unplug the lead first and then the balancer and then there you go now let's check the 3s now these two cells are the ones that i use for my cars and my friend do have an emac so he can go either 4s which are two 2s batteries or you can go 6s which are two 3s batteries and yep so for 3s you're going to plug it in right next to the 2s connector right there it's connected and then you're, you're gonna do the same thing except that you're gonna change the the 2s to 3s so let's try that you're gonna long press and then you just hit confirm and just like that you're charging pretty cool guys pretty cool now if this is anything like my other charger which is the Turnigy that one should last this should last a long time just make sure to treat your charger properly. Keep an eye on your batteries while they're charging. Do not leave the battery connected when it's finished charging. And this should last you a long, long time. Alright, so with that, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're in the market on finding a pretty affordable LiPo battery charger, this might be a good one to check out. And of course, if you order two of them, then you can charge two batteries. And that's probably going to cost you 80 bucks. So, yep. Once again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.